Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another product review video for you. Before I get into this video, let me know in the comments down below if you actually enjoy these review videos or if you'd rather I didn't do them. I'm kind of on the fence about them. Uh, I do enjoy doing them. It's always nice to get free product, obviously. Um, I try to give a, a very honest opinion of the products I do receive. Uh, obviously, nothing is uh, tested long term before it makes it into a video. So that's kind of up to you to determine if that product's going to last or not. But I don't know if I want this channel to just be product reviews. Of course, it's not. But it, we have had quite a few here lately. As the channel grows, more offers come in. And some of these some of these reviews make sense, some don't. I'm just rambling. Let me know in the comments down below if, if you guys enjoy the product review videos or not. We'll see if we'll keep doing them. Anyways, uh, Cecil, company that sent us a uh, cordless chainsaw, uh, little handheld cordless chainsaw. I'll try to remember to put a link to the video up above. They reached out to me and asked me if I would do a video on a new chainsaw sharpener they just came out with. So that's what today's video is going to be. We're going to test out this chainsaw sharpener and see if it's any good. Let's take a look what's in the box. All right, so it comes in a pretty plain Jane box here. We've got some instructions, a tool, a guide, some extra brushes, the bits. All right, so it looks like this is basically a Dremel. It's got a variable speed trigger or mechanism on it. Simple on and off. Yeah, that's what this looks like. Just looks like a Dremel. Looks like we comes with a nice guide. Couple tools. Nice array of bits. Carbide bits. Well, it's pretty straightforward. Let's get a chainsaw chucked up and uh, put this to use. Electric chainsaw sharpener. Well, it seems like there might be about a million different ways to sharpen a chainsaw, but I suspect as long as they all have the same results, sharp chain, they're all good.
All right, guys, so I went through and I sharpened the 461, the 660, and the 200T. Uh, so the 461 and the 660 both have 3 8 chains, and the 200T has that 3 8 plus P. But anyways, uh, it did a really good job. It sharpened the chains pretty quickly. Uh, one thing I was watching for is when I was in the tooth grinding, I was looking to see if there's any discoloration of the tooth. That's one thing you want to be careful of when using a grinder to grind any kind of steel is uh, if the steel changes color, you change the temper of that steel. So with the chainsaw, I was looking at the teeth to make sure that the teeth didn't turn blue. Blue would indicate that I changed the, uh, the heat treat of that steel and essentially kind of ruined the blade. None of that happened. Never once did the chain get hot enough to change colors using that tool so I don't know what those bits are made out of but um, they're not they're not super aggressive it didn't seem to cut really fast but it did cut and it uh, didn't cause any overheating of the chainsaw blade so overall I'm really happy with it it, it went pretty quick uh, it's it seems like a a great addition to the uh, arsenal of tools here to, to help maintain my chainsaws. I think what I'll do is <clears throat> I have to go gather some firewood anyway. I think I'll take the 461 with me with that fresh sharpened chain and I'll, I'll test it out on a, on a couple logs up there for you guys and we'll just uh, wrap the video up with the chainsaw cutting wood. So if I don't speak to you guys again until uh, at the end of this video, we'll see you in the next video.